Hey guys, in this video we'll be looking at the method of preparing a standard solution by dissolving the solid of the substance into a solvent. So stay tuned. First, let's take a quick look at what a standard solution is. A standard solution is simply a solution with a known concentration. This means we know exactly the concentration of the solution accurately. So what is a solution? A solution is made out of solute that is dissolved in a solvent. So the liquid phase here is normally the solvent and normally the solid phase is a solute. Together they will form a solution. In this video we are going to be looking at the preparation of 250 cm cube of 1 mole per dm cube sodium carbonate solution. There are two things to note here. We know the exact volume of solution that we are going to prepare and the exact concentration that we want to get through this preparation. A solution of sodium carbonate will have sodium carbonate as the solute which is dissolved in water. So we are going to prepare an aqueous solution. Before we can go on with the method, we need to do some calculation first. We need to find out exactly how much of solute we need to use to dissolve inside the solvent. So here we have this formula, N is equals to mv per thousand. N is the number of moles, so in this case will be the number of moles of sodium carbonate. In order to find the number of moles, we need the molarity. Molarity is simply the concentration in mole per dm cube. V is the volume, the volume of the solution that we are going to prepare. This has to be in cm cube if it is over 1000. Now the reason for this is volume in cm cube over 1000 is simply a conversion for dm cube. You notice here the units are mole per dm cube. If it is in mole per dm cube, in order to get moles, we need to multiply by the volume in dm cube. However, all our measuring instruments in the lab are normally in cm cube. We don't normally use dm cube as a scale on measuring instruments. So that is why this formula is very helpful. The conversion is already built into the formula. All we have to do is put in the volume in cm cube over 1000. The volume in dm cube, the conversion is volume in cm cube divided by 1000. So if we had a volume in dm cube, then we can just omit divide by 1000 like this. If this volume was in dm cube, then it would just be n is equals to mv. So let's find the number of moles of sodium carbonate that we need to prepare this standard solution. The moles will be m. The molarity that we want to prepare is 1.0 moles per dm cube. So 1.0 moles per dm cube. And the volume of solution that we are going to prepare is 250 cm cube. So 250 cm cube. Since the unit here is in cm cube, we have to divide by 1000. And this will give us 0.25 moles. Now that we have the moles of sodium carbonate that we need to use to prepare this standard solution, we can find the mass of sodium carbonate that we need to weigh. So the relationship between mole and mass is moles is equals to mass divided by the molar mass of a substance. So when we rearrange this to make mass the subject of the equation, we get mass is moles times molar mass. So the moles we've already figured out to be 0.25 moles so we substitute 0.25 moles here and the molar mass sodium is 23 grams per mole so 23 times 2 there's two atoms of sodium here and then we have carbon plus 12 and three atoms of oxygen so plus 16 times 3 and when we work this out we get 26.5 grams so now we know exactly how much sodium carbonate to weigh using an electronic balance in order to prepare a standard solution that will be 250 cm cube and have a concentration of 1 mole per dm cube. Now we can go to the method. So this method of preparation is by dissolving solid in a solvent. So we need to weigh exactly 26.5 gram of sodium carbonate and then notice the final volume that we want to make up is 250 cm cube. But initially when we dissolve, we don't dissolve with 250 cm cube because whatever measuring instrument that we use will not be very accurate. So we use 
about 100 cm cube of distilled water. This doesn't have to be accurate. This is just about slightly less than half. So we add the distilled water in and we stir. I add 100 cm cube of distilled water, stir with a glass rod and we get 100 cm cube of sodium carbonate solution roughly. This does not have to be accurate. And we add distilled water because distilled water has been undergone the process of distillation. So we have removed impurities. Then we use what we call a volumetric flask. Now, this volumetric flask will give us a very accurate measure of the volume of solution and it is fixed. There is no calibrated scale here, but there is a calibration mark. So whenever we have, let's say we have a volumetric flask that is a 250 cm cube volumetric flask, this calibration mark will mark when the volume of solution has reached 250 cm cube very accurately. So there are various types of volumetric flask. There's a 250 cm cube volumetric flask. There's a 500 cm cube volumetric flask. So the concept is that there is a single mark here, the calibration mark, which shows us the volume very, very accurately. So in this case, we want to use a 250 cm cube volumetric flask because that's the volume that we intend to get in the end. So how to use this? First, we take the dissolved sodium carbonate just now, the 100 cm cube of sodium carbonate solution, and we pour it inside the volumetric flask using a filter funnel very carefully. Remember, in order to form this solution accurately so that we have exactly one mole per dm cube, we need to make sure that all the sodium carbonate particles gets inside the volumetric flask. So there cannot be any spillage. So this has to be done very carefully. So we pour it down a filter funnel first. Next, after we pour the solution of sodium carbonate inside the volumetric flask, some particles of sodium carbonate may be stuck to the container, to the beaker here that we dissolved it in originally. So what we need to do is we use distilled water and we rinse the beaker that we use to dissolve the sodium carbonate. So we just rinse the walls of the beaker that we used to dissolve the sodium carbonate just now to make sure all the sodium carbonate particles are in solution here and we pour it inside the volumetric flask through the filter funnel. So this can be done twice or three times but don't use too much water. So once we've rinsed the beaker, now remember we were pouring it into the volumetric flask through the filter funnel. So some of the sodium carbonate particles might be stuck on the filter funnel here. And so the same concept applies. We want every single sodium carbonate particle that we wait to go into solution. That is when we know that we have accurately formed a solution of one mole per dm cube. So the same principle applies here. Now we need to rinse the filter funnel. All the distilled water from the rinsing must go into the volumetric flask because they contain the particles of sodium carbonate. They cannot be thrown away. So just like the beaker just now, once you've rinsed, you must pour it into the volumetric flask. The goal is to get all the particles inside the volumetric flask. Now here, when we rinse the filter funnel, so we must make sure that the distilled water after that flows into the volumetric flask. So this is done until the water level is close to the calibration mark. We don't want to get it exactly there because it is difficult to get it exactly at the calibration mark if we use large volumes of water at a time. In order to solve this, we use a dropper. So we get it until right near the calibration mark. After that, we use a dropper to drop in distilled water until the water level reaches the calibration mark. And this is how it should be. This is the meniscus. At this point, we have already formed the standard solution. We measured exactly the weight that will contain the number of moles to be dissolved in 250 cm cube of solution. So now we have a standard solution, 250 cm cube of one moles per dm cube sodium carbonate solution. Once we've reached the calibration mark, we should use a stopper to cover the volumetric flask and the solution should be shaken. So when we shake solutions in chemistry, we don't shake it vigorously, we have to invert it several times three or four times invert it until we have what we call a homogeneous solution. Homogeneous solution that means is everything is mixed very well. 
And once everything is done, we have to leave the stopper on. The reason for this is that we don't want any water molecules to evaporate. If water molecules start to evaporate, then our concentration will no longer be 1 mole per dm cube. If water molecules evaporate, the concentration of solute will become higher and higher. So we will no longer have a standard solution of 1 mole per dm cube. That is why we have to keep the stopper on. That's it for this video guys, I hope you've learned something. If you have, please do support me by hitting the like button, it really does help to grow my channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe, I'll be producing at least one video a week. I'll see you in the next video.